Oh my gosh, this changes everything. The product I'm gonna be sharing with you today is amazing, but also I've got a little bit of a warning on when you may not want to use it. This week's video almost didn't happen. That would have been tragic, because it's amazing. I was supposed to record this yesterday morning. I woke up, I couldn't move my neck. I was in so much pain. I injured myself while sleeping. Some parts about getting old suck. My pain only got worse for hours until I remembered I had a heating pad, but I made it my king. I can actually move my neck now. So now I can share with you this week's video. I am working in two different watercolor pencils for this project. I'm using the Faber-Castell Aquarelle and the Caran d'Ache watercolor pencils. Both are amazing. I like using them together because the, the Caran d'Ache is more opaque in a lot of their colors, whereas the Faber-Castell is more of your true translucent watercolor pencil. And there are certain techniques I want one or the other for. So I am using them both in this. The majority of what I'm using though, because I do want that glow in my crystals, is the Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. different ways to keep white in your watercolor work. Traditionally, most artists preferred in the past, it's kind of changing now, I've seen more and more using opaque materials, but traditionally you wanted to leave the white of the paper showing through whenever you wanted white. This is going to give you that mo that glow, that luminance that watercolor is just known for. If you start adding opaque color over that, that kind of undoes the whole point of watercolor looking all glowy. This is the Dr. Martin's PH White Bleed Proof White Doctor, nope. So let me show you what this product can do and then I'm gonna tell you why you might not want to use it. Now this is an opaque white watercolor. So basically white gouache, but more opaque, super opaque. This is not a painted, it actually says on their website, do not mix this with other colors, that is not the intent. I'm thinning mine down with water to get finer detail here. And you're able to go back over because it is your, your watercolor, it will reactivate. So areas where my line was a little bit bumpy because I used a brush that was too big. Sometimes I'm too lazy to pick up the proper brush. It's like, you know, two inches away, it's too far. Don't judge me, I'm sure some of you guys do that too. But where my line wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be, I was able to take a clean brush and just clean up those edges like I was with the rest of the watercolor. So it does reactivate, it does pull up. 
Now here's where you may not want to use this. It's amazing, but don't go overboard with it. The thing with watercolor, we wanna get that pretty glow, that luminance, everything's just, well, glowy, because I repeat myself. When you add this opaque white over it, you completely lose that. It's now very flat. You don't have the depth that you had before with just letting the white of the paper show through. So you wanna be careful when you use this, keep it for those brightest highlights. If I'm painting something metallic and I want something super shiny, this is gonna be my go-to. If I'm doing a water scene and I want just bright sparkles on, let's say out in the ocean, this would be great for the brightest, brightest sparkles. So that is going to be the time I wanna to go to this or little details like whiskers, a few little hairs here and there. It's gonna be really good for little details. You know, if you pick up the right brush and don't use the one that's way too large because you're too lazy to reach over two inches. Never underestimate my ability to be lazy. So while this is amazing, while it blends out super well, use it sparingly to get the best results. What about using it over oil and wax-based pencils? I don't know, do you want your work to be archival? If you do, nope. But on your water-based medium, so watercolor, ink tents, I don't see why you couldn't use it on graphite aquarelle. You could use it potentially for those if you needed a really bright highlight. If you wanna follow this lesson with me over on Patreon, head over to Patreon, I didn't word that well. For as little as $4 a month, you get access to all of my longer videos. I've been making lessons for Patreon for over seven years, so when you sign up, you get over 300 videos and a new one every single week. That is an amazing price for art lessons. 300, like who has that? That's just, it's un it's unheard of. I'm, yes, you should sign up. There are other rewards, and if you wanna see what types of videos and what mediums I have, the link is in the video description to my Patreon video library, along with Patreon itself, if you wanna head over and sign up. Did you like this video? If you did, check this one out, where I talk about the best, most opaque white colored pencil.